Good morning, everybody. It's Kim. I thought I'd give you a quick look around to show you some of the things I got done in the last few days. I still have a lot to go. It seems like it's never ending, but I cleaned up this bed really nice. Got rid of all the weeds. That entire bed there. And as an experiment, I found some Dollar Tree gladiolas that I planted right there. I'm going to see how they do. No guarantees, but I thought it'd be a cool experiment. We have the garden cleaned up and ready to go. I was able to get rid of the plastic from that thing that blew off. And most importantly, I added to my future food production. Sorry if I'm bouncing you around a bit. Just trying out my new camera here on my new phone to see how it works. But I went, as you guys know, I work at a farm store and I get a, a pretty decent discount on things. And I picked up some new fruit trees. Remember there wasn't much here before, but they're coming along okay. This I did get, a, whether I need it or not, I picked up a dwarf um, golden delicious apple because it'll be easier for me to, um, you know, as you see, those trees are old and they've been here forever. They're very difficult to spray and, you know, trim and all that stuff. So I wanted one that was more of a table eating apple for me that I can come out, take care of, use some organic spray on it, like Spinosad, and you know, keep the bugs away so that I have some decent apples for eating. Then I planted, unfortunately I did something silly. I thought they were marked in another way. I took the tags inside instead of hauling all the trees inside and took all the tags off. So I thought they were marked better. They weren't, so I don't know what's planted where, but I did pick up a couple of cherry trees. I believe this is one of the cherries here. That's why I planted it near my cherry bush. And I picked up a, a nectarine, a plum. Oh, somebody's getting flowers. Look at. Ooh, I didn't see that. It's going to get cold, so I hope it doesn't flower too soon. And I picked up, let's see, I got six total. Two cherry trees, a nectarine, a plum, and an um, apricot. So I can have some variety of my fruits when they finally bloom. So these got planted two days ago. We had a very nice rain. And hopefully, as you can see, I'm starting an orchard here, adding to what I already have. These are obviously older than the plums I grew from seed. And hopefully I can get some soon. So this is my new orchard spot right here in my front yard. And the last thing I have to do is one of the few, well, lots of unpleasant tasks that I have to do in the spring. I'll take you over there and I'll show you what's going on over there. All right, we did get the doors to the goat pen open and the fence has been re-put up. We use the tractor through there so I have to take the fence down um, so the girls can go out. I was able to clean up this area a bit because it had a lot of baling twine. I still see every, baling twine is like never ending. You will find it forever. I got most of it picked up and this part raked up. But my big chore for today is to clean up these water bowls for all the birds. These have been stored all winter, you know, other birds pooping on them, dust, dirt, whatever. I'm gonna scrub them all up and take out the electric water bowls. They won't need those anymore. And I'm hoping I can get the guys to help me. I want to move, I want to give myself a little more space in here. I want to move Mama Bird back. And I'd like to get my, my big chicken coop trailer, that one outside. It's nice enough they can go out. Even if it drops down into the 30s now, they'll be fine. And I won't take the plastic off yet, but I, play, I park it right outside so the birds get used to going in and out there. And then I have this part of the barn to do projects and such in. So, and then this will just get moved back a little bit. I don't like her right in the door. 
I did have an unfortunate thing to tell you guys. My baby turkey, turkeys are quite difficult to raise. My baby turkey did not make it. She did, it's not mama bird's fault. Turkeys, when they're babies, until they're two or three months old, they're very, very difficult to raise. But uh, she has four chicken babies in there, and she's doing very well with them. She'll be, hopefully, I can get one of my other girls that was injured back in with her group so that I can get Mama Bird where I can start letting them outside a little bit more. That girl there was, she had a huge gash on her side. It was probably about six inches long, and... It was gaping open about two inches, and it was about an inch deep. I believe the Tom slipped when he was on top of her and um, caught her with her spur. But in the spring, turkeys are very territorial. They fight like crazy. I'm trying to get her and the other girl back together, her daughter. And right now, I have to do it little by little, a couple minutes at a time. If they start fighting, they have to get separated and put back in their coops. So... I'm hoping to get that coop done, or that chore done. Anyway, Mr. Barry, he's always, you know, he's got to show off here. That's my chore for today. The big chore is to get these nasty things cleaned up and the other bowls put away. And I need to plant my potatoes. So that's a separate video. I hope you enjoyed the quick look around, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, down to the last one. That nasty job's almost done. Thank goodness.